Well, interventional radiology is somewhat different from the other subspecialties. We are imaging-based department of radiology. We have one sub-area of radiology which deals with patients a little bit more hands-on. We have one subdivision similar to breast uh, imaging where contact with the patient is a little bit more forefront. Um, we do essentially procedures, mere milli-invasive procedures through image guidance. We use multiple modalities to see where we need to go and in truth work in all areas of the body. We have been akin to a multifaceted high-tech plumber. Nonetheless, it describes much of what we do. We have a ability to see inside through the body, which allows us to do impact patient care, do innovative procedures, as well as support other physicians in the hospital, as well as having patients who come through our own practice. A variety of uh, disease states and solutions, million invasive solutions that are unique to the Department of Radiology. The evolution of million invasive therapies have, has undergone tremendous change in the last 60 years. So Charles Dodder in 1963 was the first uh, a radiologist who actually developed improvement of blood flow through a leg blockage caused by vascular disease and he was somewhat the father of this whole mid-invasive pioneering forefront of trying to treat patients through small access points or small holes. You, you could even say that a lot of the laparoscopic procedures were akin to development of seeing through the body using other modalities. Um, but nonetheless, vascular procedures and milli-invasive procedures is a whole spectrum of procedure states where we're able to do procedures through essentially small access points. The vascular system happens to be a convenient access point in the femoral artery, which is really the, the hallmark of how cardiac stents and cardiac procedures were developed by radiologists actually in the 50s initially. So nonetheless, this whole spectrum of trying to treat spectrum disease through little holes, and then able to see through the body, visualizing the structures we're trying to treat through radiology applications, imaging modalities, has really been an evolutionary change in the last 50 years, first developed by radiologists, perfected by radiologists, and in, in probably in the 70s through to the uh, 2000s, now embraced by a variety of other um, uh, specialities, but mainly because of how widespread this application of this milli-invasive therapy modality has become, including vascular surgeons, interventional cardiologists, interventional pulmonologists, interventional gastroenterologists. And in truth, a lot of people would say a lot of that origin stems back all the way to radiology in the 1960s and 70s. Interventional radiologists, I think, straddle a very unique situation in, in diagnostic radiology. Being a division, we have certainly a, a larger role to play in terms of the contact with the patients. Our contact with patients tend to be quite forefront. I think very similar to surgeons in a certain way, a lot of people would suggest that we have a, a similar training as well as interaction with patients where we, we will have hands-on uh, procedural, intra-procedural contact with the patient, but we also actually see the patient beforehand, either at the bedside if they're in patients, or in the outpatient clinic where we have interventional radiology clinic, dedicated clinic where we will meet our patients, establish a patient-physician relationship, discuss the procedure, go through the pros and cons as the alternatives, and then create a, a, a trust relationship and set up a procedure thereafter where patients come in for their dedicated interventional radiology solutions or therapy, be admitted into the hospital under the guise of the care of the interventional radiologist, and then will then uh, leave the hospital completing their treatments, and then also then importantly follow up with us in clinic. So um, the forefront uh, nature of how we interact with patients is somewhat unique, but there are other divisions, and I think radiologists in general are changing the way they interact with patients. It's, it's really at the forefront, and Johns Hopkins is right there. Um, we are becoming much more forefront consultants, and interventional radiologists, I think, are just the one sort of uh, overarching hallmark of how a radiologist can uh, impact and improve the interactions with patients and more hands on.
That's a very broad question. And uh, to, uh, to a certain extent, we almost deal with every part of the body. Um, there is a part of the body uh, above the head and neck, which is dealt with by our colleagues, interventional neuroradiology. But every disease state is almost impacted. Nonetheless, if you had to focus on some of the subspecialty areas that we deal with disease states, we deal uh, obviously primarily with blood vessel issues, so blockages, uh, bleeding issues, and there's a whole host of variety of blood vessel uh, pathologies and disease states where we have innovative solutions for, and at the forefront for over 30 years being the Soviet solutions, at least, as well as the pioneers in development of the therapies. Uh, more recently, in the last 15 years, uh, development of treatments of cancers, both uh, treatment as well as maintenance of treatment. Um, has been at the forefront of interventional radiology. We have innovative uh, treatment uh, solutions um, of liver cancers, both primary liver cancer as well as uh, cancers that have spread to the liver, as well as cancers in, that uh, deal with kidneys, lung, soft tissues. Um, these are sort of at the forefront of treatment, non-invasive, mini-invasive treatments for cancers per se. N notwithstanding, with women's health, we have a large role to deal with lots of pelvic conditions of women's health, as well as um, vascular malformations or tumors of the vascular system. We deal with problems uh, in almost every organ, including the chest, abdomen, and pelvis, and are extremely multifaceted. And I think um, for anyone interested in what we do, Society of Interventional Radiology is an excellent resource to kind of explain a little bit for trainees or the public to learn a little bit more about what we do.